Hey y'all, it's Corey Ashton, and one of the absolute best things you can possibly doing on your WordPress website is gathering leads. How do you do that? How do you gather leads in a really cool way that gets people excited and engaged and maybe sends out even an automated response to them, sends out alerts whenever you're publishing fresh content? I've got a way to do it, and we're gonna stay in our budget of free. Check this out. <laughs> Mail opt-in reached out to me and asked me if I would do a review of their plugin, and I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed so far. So in this session, I wanna walk you through actually how to install the free version, how to set it up, how to use it. Some exciting things about it that might get you just as excited is that it auto feeds already to MailChimp, to Constant Contact, to Aweber. Uh, it allows pop-ups, really cool a a different ways of engaging your users as they come in. It also has the moment that they go to leave, it'll engage them then uh, with a pop-up saying again, don't leave, asking them to enter their email address or whatever information you need to gather that lead and drive, drive, drive conversion and sales on your website. It's so important, I can't stress enough, uh, missed opportunities on your website every single time. And this is a tool that'll help you retain and gain those loyal customers. So be sure to check this out. I'm putting links to all this in the description below so that you can get access to it. And be sure to check out their premium upgrade version because that's gonna open up so many other opportunities. I'll talk about that toward the end of this video, but for now, let's take a look at some of the features. First step to engage the free version. Remember, I'm gonna show you both the free and the paid upgraded version. The free one, you're gonna go on your dashboard, go over to the plugins area, click add new, and you just wanna do a search for mail opt-in. All one word, mail opt-in, gets you this. Now note, as of this video today, it's got phenomenal reviews, only 5,000 installs, but it's certainly gaining a lot of traction, and of course, it's compatible with our version. So you certainly wanna be sure that all those things are still in place, no matter how many years from now you're watching this video, to be certain that this is still a great solution for you. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click Install Now, and of course, we wanna activate this uh, plugin so that we can go in, test it, and see how it's gonna be best available to use inside of your website. Click Activate. So now that it's activated, you can already see right here that you can go into settings if you'd like. You also see right here that it's mail opt-in light, which is the free version, right? So you're gonna be limited on some of the things that you can do, um, and, and you certainly can open up some really cool options when you go premium version. Um, so let's take a look at some of the things you can do easily and quickly on the fly. This is your first screen, kind of the settings area, just the general overview, and you can certainly leave these kind of default mode if you want to. Email automation, you'll come in here and kind of set the things of um, who the emails will be coming from once the system automatically connects with your new uh, leads. How cool is this? And then of course you have the other options over here. You have the integrations with the different systems. So if you're using something like MailChimp, you can come over here, click on that, throw in your API key, you're off and running. What that means is as soon as somebody enters in their email, if you've created this API to feed over to your email marketing system, uh, like MailChimp or Constant Contact or Aweber or ConvertKit or whatever's over here that they have the capability of doing, that email then automatically shifts over and sits inside of that system and becomes available for you to use inside of there. There's no need to download a list and try to upload a list and try to keep that up to date. This is a really cool dynamic solution here, very, very exciting, but another cool feature about mail opt-in is that you don't have to have one of these other systems. They will allow you to kind of internally collect that email sitting in here and their system will automatically email out to that lead that's already inside of your list. How crazy is that? I'm loving this. Um, and again, we're staying right now, the features that you're seeing right now are living inside of the free option. So let's go over here and actually create uh, a campaign. Let's do this. So all I did was click the light box version, right? So that's what we wanna do right now is kind of see what type of uh, campaign we can create, what sort of um, mousetrap basically do we wanna create to have somebody fill in the blank, fill in the information and let us gather the details. So you've got a couple of options here, these two that are in the free option, the rest you're gonna see that are premium that are gonna require you to buy a license to use. But you can get excited and be inspired about the different layouts, the different options that allow you to again engage. So we're just gonna select uh, this particular theme just for the sake of showing you its capabilities. Stay with me, because this is gonna get super exciting as we go through this and you're able to see how quick 
quickly you can easily optimize these options. Let's do this. We're gonna name the campaign. Just for now, we're testing. We're gonna select the theme. And again, I want you to see kind of how quickly and easily you can make some of these changes. Um, font, um, colors, all this fun stuff right here. So let's go here to design, change the background color. I'm just gonna go a little extreme for us right now so that you can kind of get an idea of what the capabilities are. Back here, the headline, do we wanna say subscribe for the latest updates? We can say subscribe for the latest videos, right? Have that there, that looks great. We can change the font family to better match our website and to play a little bit more um, directly with our branding because you certainly want to be um, beautiful in your branding and stay consistent there so you're not throwing people off, right? Of, of uh, staying on your website. And of course, this is the area too that you can change. You can change anything here. How nice is that? Change the color here to a white and let that really pop off the page there. Loving it. Change the font family as well. I'm just guessing at this point, this might look like a hot mess when I'm done, but I want y'all to be able to see kind of what all it can do. We'll promise not to spam you. You can unsubscribe anytime. This is kind of that fine detail down here at the bottom down here that you can make changes to. Font family again, change it to whatever you'd like. The color, a very, very cool options here. Um, close the opt-in uh, on click. So that's an option here that you can close it down. Uh, enable an acceptance box. We want them to be able to click. Okay, I'm accepting that option there. That's a nice little feature. They can click on that and agree basically to terms, right? They're accepting the terms of signing up. Some field options here. You can change uh, kind of the placeholder text if you'd like and just say first name. There you go. And instead of saying all the way into your email address, you can just say email address. Look how just completely uh, customizable this is. And again, I'm staying in the free version, which has got to get you guys excited. Change the, the, the crazy button color to something crazy bold and, and just obnoxious at this point. Save changes and you actually have your first quote unquote campaign ready to roll out. Um, I mean, this has got to get you super excited with the ability to be able to do these things so quickly and easily. Of course, you want to activate it. So the other thing you can do uh, before we clicked out of the actual um, campaign is go into it and set the rules basically of how or where it displays. So uh, there's some additional things you can do here. The configuration, you can say the duration of, of how, many how many days basically it will take between them clicking the X, the individual user. Maybe you want it to appear every day. You can just take that back down to one. Um, and, and whatever you'd like to do, here's the cookie duration as well. And you want to remember that if you're making any of these changes or adding something like this to the website, you might want to reference this inside of your privacy policy or certainly your GDPR, um, kind of your, your terms, right, on your website. Uh, integrations, again, if you want to add this integration into your MailChimp account, you can come in here and do that. Once that's set up on that settings screen, you can do that here. After conversion, you know, what do you want them to do once they fill this out? Do you want to give them a success message? Do you want to take them somewhere else? You want them to go to a different URL and, and really blow their minds? You can do, think about it this way, you guys. You could say something here like, enter your email address and get our top 10 uh, conversion strategy ideas, right? Instantly, you can use those sort of words. If that's the case, once they fill this out and click subscribe now, you can have it redirect to the page that has the file sitting there for them to download. You just have to get creative with something like this. It gets really exciting at all the possibilities. Get very, very creative and, and watch the conversions just fly on your website. You're gonna love it. Um, so here are some of the things where you're able to add in different display options. So right now we're doing globally. This is across the board. Every single page, this is going to be in here. Um, you could do some options that you only want this one feature publishing on. You only want it on the home page. You only want it on certain pages. You can do that. And of course, you'll get all sorts of additional options when you go to that premium version. But really a cool concept here. This one is, of course, just the light box option inside of mail opt-in. They also have additional options like in post, uh, sidebar and widget options, notification bar and slide in, which slide in is pretty cool because this one allows it to kind of uh, pivot and play 
Uh, but again, that's gonna be a premium option, right? That's gonna be a premium option, you go buy a license. I can't tell you though how cool it's gonna be for you to get over here and do this. I'm gonna put a coupon code so you can get some uh, a, a little bit of a discount on this, but it is so worth the money because you can imagine spending money like this, monthly even, on some sort of a, a lead generating campaign inside of a social network. You do this one time per year and you've got the ability to gather leads nonstop on your WordPress website. One more thing before we go, I wanted to say again, if you go with that premium version, you get to unlock a lot of analytics, which I think is incredible. Not only do you get the A-B testing whenever you go pro version, premium version, you get a lot of different layouts. You get to do this analytics where you're really tracking your conversion. This is so important because you really don't have other options like this inside of other kind of opt-in or pop-up or any sort of lead generating tools inside the WordPress website. Normally you have to leave the website. This is gonna be contained right here where you can see in real time mode what sort of results you're getting from using this tool super important in measuring your ROI I hope this is getting you guys excited about the possibilities here um, I'm pretty excited I think again the, the free option is phenomenal but when you really want to take your online marketing and your lead generating to that next level I definitely want to recommend going and checking out the premium version I hope this helps y'all. I hope you're excited. If you have any questions about it, be sure to reach out to Mel Optin first because they have a great support team. And if you like it, comment in the thread below. Let us know how you're using it and what sort of results you're seeing from it. I hope y'all have a great one. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye everyone.